for starters, talk about the work. Well, I thought he worked real well. He's feeling good, a little bit on back tracking, and uh, he seemed to handle the surface good. And Joel threw out there, Joel in about a minute to see how he handles it. it was a good gallop out. When I headed down the lane, I picked up my reins, and he was worked kind of spurty, but he was right on track. And I says, this is perfect. And he worked in about a minute and galloped out strong and come back feeling good. You were saying the last time you've been here was with uh, Blamed when she was supposed to run in the Oaks, and I think she got hurt right before. Yeah, it turned out to be an insignificant injury that she had, but they had to use the vet to take the picture to make sure, and then they couldn't run her. So it was very unfortunate, but it, uh, it was exciting then, too. But Did you come in to work her um, as well? Yes. The last time with Blamed, we actually uh, had somebody else work her the day that they had concern, and I felt, too, that maybe if I was on her, I would have said it was nothing, whatever, and things would have turned out different. So when Joel said, I need you here to work them, I wasn't going to miss it. Had you been to Churchill before then, or was that your first time? Or? That was my first trip. Was. was that your last trip, though? That was the last time you've been here? Yeah. Yeah, I come out, and I, Chris Hartman had entered me on some horses, and... <clears throat> At the time, my business was good in other places, too. It was during the Iowa season, and uh, in fact, I was named on three and two of them won. But it was hard to be at two places at once when you have my career. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, just to sort of talk about the whole experience of the Sutherland Park Derby and winning your first grade at stakes race. Yeah, we've always been kind of fond of this horse, but he hadn't really lined out to the going long right away thing. I didn't break good the time before, and and uh, I kind of got him up. The other horse kind of had me pinned against the rail just a little bit and kind of backed me out, and it was a good learning experience, but it wasn't real good for him. Then he finished up pretty well. I wasn't unpleased, but I did not expect the kind of race that he threw in the derby. and. Uh, I mean, that shows us what he is, that stamina, because he was keeping pace with those horses, and I wasn't asking him, and he stepped by. Just, I was so delighted and so excited when I picked up my reins, and he actually just stepped forward. There's all different reasons that a horse can turn out to be a runner, and uh, just developing, and, and I've never been on a whole bunch of real well-bred horses in my career, but I've rode some, rode some very talented animals. And uh, he's just well enough bred, and he is really, his talent level starting to show. So when you're crossing the finish line there, are you thinking, wow, I just won my first grade at States. <laughs> did that, like, when did that sort of hit you? You know, it's so funny because I have been riding quite a few years, and it's just a horse race and the excitement of finally winning the Derby and everybody involved, all the connections was exciting. It never sunk in that it was the greatest race and how big a purse it was. It was it, it was the biggest race at that track. Yes. Um, and also the implications of you could be coming here and by it, virtue. And it's so funny because that wasn't, it just something you go, oh yeah. Um, you're invited, might be able to go to the Derby, and then when he comes back and he pulls up good, and like I told Joel, I said I wasn't aware of the competition. I started watching, and I said, you know, there's four or five really nice horses, and then there's just nice horses, and and uh, that's where we're at, I think. You mentioned you've had a long career. I mean, is as the Kentucky Derby always been on your radar? Was it something you never thought possible? Or <coughs> how would you sort of sum up your, your thoughts about the, the Kentucky Derby? I've always tried to stand my ground and say I wouldn't want to ride a horse that was a long shot in the Kentucky Derby because to me that the pressure of not bothering other horses and this, that, and the other. But I've never been in this position. Our horse might be a long shot. but. We actually have our own reasons for being excited to be here. We have a horse that's doing well, that's maturing. Um, 
I feel lucky, the trainer feels lucky, and I'm sure Mr. Sumter really feels lucky. So now I understand where you don't look at the odds, you just try to get a healthy, talented horse in the derby and see if you can get something done. You probably weren't riding in New Mexico when mine that bird came and won the derby. I'm guessing that's when you were riding in... Worse than that is the horse. I'd been told about the horse before he was purchased. And but he I was rode in Canada? A few, rode a few, watched videos on him, and rode a few for the owner. And by the time that he came there, I wasn't riding for the owner anymore. And uh, I got to watch him. So... It was like a, to me, it was a near miss when he won. <laughs> I said, at least we talked about it. They told me, we've got a horse that we want you to get on. I think he's Kentucky Derby material. And everybody kind of says it. So you grin and say, yeah. And then I watched the reruns and he was very impressive. And then kind of tapered off a little. Down there, I think the track was a little too fast for him and he was more endurance horse. So they had trouble getting him to run a good race at Sunland, but it turned out well for them. And anything can happen in the Derby. And my horse's style, I, I think it'd be less pressure to have a horse like mine, that bird, where he was started falling back and come and finishing, than be in the middle of the pack and try to catch him because it's a long race and very few go wire to wire. And, the ones in the middle, you got to have a lucky trip, and the easiest race to ride is to ride with no shot and then come charge and sneak through. Red Strike, I mean, he just run, had run a super race. He rode him good, he just tried to keep him in a spot with no pressure, and when he asked him, they started flattening. That's the kind of style that I've made. I like to try to make things happen. And and that was Sonny Leon's first graded stakes win, was the Kentucky Derby. Right, isn't that amazing? <laughs> but with this horse, he's got enough speed where he's gonna, he's just gonna have to be a contender if he, if he sizes up.